All right, it is time for our Bartender of the Week segment. And joining us this week is Alexandra Dupuis. 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 Is, I, so I think fancy. that's French, right? French. Yes, I love it. And she is from a brand new restaurant in Lantana called Ravish, which is uh, just west of the old Key Lime House, yeah. if you're familiar with that area on Ocean. And They've been uh, open for a month. About a month. So tell us about Ravish. What is that all about? So Ravish is the brainchild of head chef and owner Lisa Mercado. Um, she's been around for... Uh, since about 83 uh, with staples such as the living room in Boynton. Oh, um, yes. So we, she took a little absence and then came back to open the concept um, and I'm heading up the beverage program. So nice. with both of us, um, it's comfortable, it's great cuisine and yeah, it's very elevated for Lantana. And you know what I love? I love that you're our first female bartender yes. of the week. Yes. Yeah. So tell us what goes into like creating a beverage program for a restaurant. Is that complicated? Um, a lot goes into it. Yeah, so I bet. This approach is very slow. Mm -hmm. I wanted to really see what the clientele and customers wanted, and yeah. then I'm slowly building the portfolio. Um, but the main focus is ingredients, locally sourced, and great spirits. So. Yeah. All right, so you have a great drink today. Yes. Bitter Summer, yeah. which yeah. I love because I was bitter at a very young age. <laughs> <laughs> and not just in summer. <laughs> Year-round bitter. <laughs> okay, so the idea for this cocktail was I've never made a cocktail at 9 in the morning. So I really uh, wanted... Yes! It. There's a first for everything, Alexandra. <laughs> right, so I really wanted it to be an easy drinker, but obviously introduce some bitter components because yeah, it's right. morning. we got to get you guys up and going. Yeah. So I will Well, there's nothing better to get you up and going than <laughs> tequila. tequila. I know, right? <laughs> and so, you're um, using Espelon, which I say is one of the best most reasonably priced tequilas that are out there yeah. right now. So if Absolutely. you don't want to spend a ton of money and you, but you still, you know, don't want to drink tequila, <laughs> then go for the Espelone. <laughs> yes. Um, yeah. So I'm a big fan of the Campari portfolio, which is what Espelone belongs to, mm -hmm. as well as Aperol and Wild Turkey, if you're not familiar. So I'm going to oh, go I know Wild Turkey. Yeah. <laughs> wild Turkey. <laughs> um, so yeah, I'm just going to go ahead and walk you through the specs of the cocktail. I'm obviously making two, so um, yeah. we're just going to double it up. Okay. Um, so each drink has an ounce and a half of tequila. And is that standard? Um, typically, it's like two ounces, but we're doing an ounce and a half because we have less. the Campari and it's yeah, the morning Yeah, you don't want to get us too... You know? Yeah, I was you don't know say Suzanne bad very well, do you? Um, <laughs> it's going to be a quarter ounce of the Shrub & Co. Blood Orange Shrub. This is um, a vinegar and fruit base. Oh. Um, so that's going to act a little bit of complexity. Is that like a, a tonic? What is that? No, it's a shrub. So, I don't know what a shrub... Okay, I mean, so to me, a shrub is no, a plant. No, no, okay. <laughs> no, no. So basically what a shrub is, it um, it's... Vinegar, apple cider, most commonly. Um, sugar. Oh, I can smell it. Yeah. Sugar and fruit. So that's the bitter. Oh. Um, a little bit of it. So it's okay. going to be balancing with the Campari, Got of course. It. Got it. Which Campari is an Amaro, um, which is an Italian herbal liqueur, if you don't know at home. Oh. So we're going to do a quarter ounce each for the Campari. All right. All right. Mm. Now we move on to our grapefruit juice. That Fresh squeezed, I take it. Yes. And then that's going to add um, a little bit of acidity to balance out for the coconut syrup that we're going to add. Oh. oh, coconut. Yeah. And I love coconut as well. So, so. The coconut syrup is going to be a full ounce for each drink. So we're going to. So is that like in the can, the Pepe? No. So I made this myself. Um, she cracked open the coconuts. I saw her. <laughs> I earlier. did. No. Please, I'm not a good coconut cracker. I don't recommend it either. Like, yeah. Look, she's got the coconut yeah. right here. That, that is going to be the garnish. We're going to shut it on top. Uh, okay, but, um, gotcha. Seen Wait it for the garnish. Suzanne, I know. Always I have grabs no patience. I'm like, um, let's go. <laughs> so yeah, now we just add. Oh, I ice. like that kind of ice yes. too. So, Rabbit turd yeah, ice, funny I call that you it. Said that, oh, um, <laughs> I know. So Sonic actually is most readily available for this style of ice. They oh. sell it for three dollars really? for a ten pound bag. Oh, really? stop! Selfish, I had no idea. And they open at six a.m., so I was able to get it on. Uh, oh, <laughs> that is good information. <laughs> Sonic was open at six a.m. and sold their ice. I know. Yeah, we're yeah. learning so much. <laughs> This is like a real news program. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so you're putting more ice in? Yes, yeah, so the ice is obviously used for dilution. So okay. you gotta shake that up. Depending on the size of the ice, you don't shake as long. Oh. Right? Because okay. it's already it's already crushed for you. Let me Got get it. A little bit more. Yeah. Um, always, pro tip, put a little, the straw in first. Oh, the metal okay. straw. Yeah, that makes sense. And then you want to do a little garnish action, which uh, some of Oh, it's flowers. so pretty. Oh wow. Oh, I'm sorry, oh. don't give your eyes <laughs> <laughs> <Probing. laughs> 
Oh my gosh, that looks so good. Wow. Yeah. And these are just grapefruit with... Um, dehydrated grapefruit. Oh, dehydrated actually. grapefruit. It's dehydrating is really fun. You know, this you might can... be too fancy for me. <laughs> no, you got this. Everything is too We've fancy got for flowers. you. <laughs> oh my gosh. Look that does pink. look so pretty. Yeah. I didn't know it was going to be pink. Oh, yeah. I feel like you need this one because it's more diluted. Oh. <laughs> All right. In one second, I'm just going to oh. do a little fresh oh. shaving. Oh, oh yes. Where my oh, yes. And I work so All right. hard for. Be careful because this always... Oh my, I can't even watch it. <laughs> oh my gosh, don't watch. No. Oh, gosh. Like, He's afraid you're going to lose a finger. <laughs> <laughs> She's not going to lose a finger. She's got this. Yeah. I, I have nails that will cost Okay, oh. let's cheers. Cheers. All right. The horror show's over. Cheers. Cheers. Cheers to our live audience. Mm. Mm. I'm spilling it all over my shoe. Oh, my. <gasps> oh, my gosh. Wow. It's kind of like almost got a pina colada mm. flair to the it, right? The coconuts, the bitter, like you I said. You do get a, the bitter. Yeah, it's not yes. overly sweet. It is really good. You Alexandra Dupuy, yes, from um, Ravish, Ravish in Lantana. Go check her out. Go check out the restaurant. And uh, our drink of the week, there you go. The recipe is up on the screen right now, so you can make it yourself. You can also sign up for our newsletter, and mm -hmm. we put the recipe in there as well. Just go to riseend.live, and you can sign up for our newsletter and get the drink recipe as well.